What's good, fam? This your man, Jimmy Conway, BeatsForLyricist.com, music production tips. In this video, we're going to go over one of my favorite plugins for mastering for the MPC software. All right, so let's begin. I want to first thank everyone who's checked out my videos for the last year or two. Um, I didn't know the channel was going to even hit like 500, but it's, we're up to like 2,000 subscribers. I want to thank each and every one of y'all. Uh, for starters, uh, this will be my 100th video coming up, and um, I don't even know what to say, man. I just want to thank y'all. I started this channel for a couple people around my way that needed help with the NPC software. Um, threw a couple videos online, and they just caught the first two caught fire, but the second one was like, whoa. So um, I want to thank everybody just for starters, all right? So in this video, uh, tutorial we're going to go over the master desk true peak plugin it looks just like this all right now you have a lot of great um you have a lot of great presets that you can go through or you can just mess with it yourself um this plugin is great for beginners it makes it very hard for someone to mess up their mix you know with the mastering process um, and the great thing about this is that it's like EQ, compression, and a little bit of um, true peak limiting all in one. So um, I'm going to just play this beat, and I'm going to just go over some of the dials with you, and you can check it out. The great thing about this is that everything is in one box, and you can save up some of your pre uh, plugins spaces for other plugins you want to use, all right? So let me just start this beat real quick. All right. So there's no true peak limiting on right now. Well, let me stop. Let me stop this real quick. You have your volume here, which is like your uh, basically your input going into your compressor. Uh, you have a foundation. This controls the tonality of the track. Uh, if I move it to the right, let me, let me just make sure I get this right. Let me make sure I get. I think if you move it to the right, it gets more bassy. If you move it to the left, it gets more treble, you know, treble. Um, you get more treble and high end going to the, to the left. All right. You have an output trim up here. Uh, it'll be great. They gave you like a little uh, sweet spot here to, for your mix to land in between eight and six. Closer to six is like going to, um, if you're, if you're publishing something for like YouTube, I would be closer to six. Anything else music wise, I leave it like around the seven, eight between eight and seven, so to speak. All right. Um, what else you got here? Down here you have a tone control. You have a, basically an EQ. You have your bass, your your mids, your treble and presence. Uh, you have a mono maker, so you can. You could turn your track so where you can make your track so where um, anything below a certain anything below a certain frequency will be in mono. So if I drag this up to hundred hertz, or let's say one hundred ten or whatever, anything below one hundred six hertz will be in mono. Everything else above one hundred six will be in stereo. Uh, you have a stereo enhanced uh, knob here. You have resonance filters, so like. They chose some uh, frequencies that are, you know, problem frequencies, and you could, like, um, detect them here. And if you detect any problems in your uh, resonance filters here, you could put a filter on later on and filter whatever out, okay? Up here, the one, two, three, four is basically, I think, like, your, how hard your compressor is um, compressing, so to speak. Four being the lightest compression, one being the heaviest. Uh, the stereo mode right here, it tells you whether you're in analog mode or in digital mode. I'm going to leave it in analog because I want that analog warm feel. Uh, compressor link will link the left and right channels together. Um, you have a li limiter turbo here, which basically gives your, um, gives the track a little bit more aggression. All right. 
Uh, let's just go. I'm gonna go over one of my old beats, and um, I'll just start messing with some knobs. You can see, you know, how it's working. All right. All right. So let's start with the. Uh, so nothing's happening right now. But I also have the. Nothing's happening right now because it's in bypass. So let me take it out of bypass. Hit a change. And right now it's falling in at six to seven range. But let's uh let's take a let's move some knobs real quick. Let's see it gets bass heavy with the foundation. Move the foundation to the left, it gets more treble. You also have a de-esser for vocals and like hi-hats and crashes. Mono maker. Stereo enhance. I should have said this in the beginning too. Make sure you are absolutely using a pair of headphones, a pair of monitor speakers, or something like to that nature. Please do not use your I'm not going to say don't use it, but if you're using your iPhone or your regular phone or your tablet, connect it to your Amazon, um, connect it to your Amazon speaker or something. But yeah, you definitely need your headphones on and your speakers on for this. You also have a compression mix knob, which basically mixes the dry signal with the uh, compressed signal. So it doesn't sound overly compressed. So let's try that out. All right, let's try some EQ. They also give you harmonic distortion, so you can add a little bit more grit to your mix. Let's hit the auto solo on the resonance filters. So now we're looking at 315 hertz. Now if I want to, I could grab a filter and then, let's say if I want to grab that 6.6K, six, uh, 6 Hertz, I could, you know, grab that frequency and drop it down if I want to. Go 
goal is solo the mids. You can solo the sides. Try to limit the turbo. Before. After. Let's try the different compressor modes. That seems to be the heaviest compression. You can also copy and paste your settings so you can also copy and paste your settings so you could use them and um, you can a b compare compare your your work so let's say if I want to copy the a settings to b we'll copy a go to b see everything went back to default we'll just hit paste and now a and b are the same You can monitor the output or the input. You can see up here where your peak are, where your peaks are, it's hitting negative two point negative 2.6 at peak, which is the same output trim I have here. So yeah, that's just a quick um, go over of the uh, Brainworks True Master Peak, Master Desk True Peak, excuse me, the Master Desk True Peak plugin. This is great for mastering your, your beats, your songs. Um, if you're not very, uh, if you don't have the skills or you weren't, didn't go to school for this, this is something you can use and it's pretty hard to mess up your mix with this, okay? Uh, you have to be really like cranking everything for it to like mess up. All right. So definitely um, give this a check out. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can grab it on the plugin boutique site. Um, and if you have any questions, drop them in the comments, man. Let me know what you want to see in the future. Um, I'm about to drop some Ableton videos soon because um, I'm still waiting for the Able uh, the MPC stems to come out. Uh, I'm, I'm not a big enough channel to get the NPC stems ahead of time, so I'll have to wait till it comes out to show y'all. But um, I want to thank y'all for watching this video. If you like the content, please subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and stay tuned for new material coming up this year. Please leave in the comments what you would like to see in the future for 2024. Uh, I am back. I had some problems with my hand. Uh, you know, I cut my hand last year in October. I'm sorry, in August. I almost cut my pinky off. And, um, you know, I've been trying to get back into the beats and stuff. It's been real hard. But um, I'm getting back into the swing of things. 
I want to thank y'all for watching this video. Um, you could um, download the Master Desk True Peak lim uh, Compressor Limiter at the um, Plug-In Boutique Shop. And I am out. Peace. Oh, also make sure you get my free drum kit below. Click the link in the description. Get that. Make sure you grab that too. Free drum kit from your man, Jimmy Conway. Peacefullyracist.com. I'm out. Peace.